Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days, and we're continuing the REST API testing with Postman. And today we're going to have an introduction to API. Now, what are APIs? APIs or application programming interfaces are a set of defined rules and protocols that allow one software application to interact with another. In essence, APIs act as intermediaries enabling different software systems to communicate, share data, and perform functions without requiring direct user interaction. Let's imagine I am from United States and you are from Canada. And we can communicate effectively because we both understand and follow the rules of the English language. API serves as a similar function in tech world. APIs provide a set of agreed upon rules or protocols that allow two completely different software systems to communicate and understand each other. These systems might be built using different technologies, run on different platforms, or serve entirely different purposes. But as long as they both adhere to the API's defined rules, they can exchange information and work together. So, just as our shared knowledge of English allows us to have a meaningful conversation, an API allows different systems to talk to each other in a way that both can understand, regardless of their internal differences. Why APIs are important APIs are crucial in modern software development for several reasons. Integration of services. API allow different software systems, often developed by different teams or companies, to work together. This integration enables complex functionalities and creates more robust and versatile applications. Reduction in development time. By using APIs, developers can leverage existing services and functionalities rather than building everything from scratch. This reuse of components accelerates development and reduces costs. Scalability. APIs allow services to be modular and scalable. For example, a company might develop its core product but use third-party APIs for payment processing, data storage, or user authentication making the overall system more scalable and maintainable. Types of APIs. There are many types of APIs, but we'll focus on web APIs. The most common ones are REST, GraphQL, SOAP, and WebSocket. REST is the most popular, used by around 80% of web APIs. So that's what we'll learn to test. In a typical web API, you have a client, which could be your phone, computer, application, or even your web browser. API in the middle and the server on the other side. So the web API interaction on a high level looks something like this. You have a client, it sends an API request, the request goes to the server, server processes the request and then sends the API response back to your client and your client processes it and then you have some information displayed on your application. So let's have a quick example of API interaction in real life. So this is developer.mozilla.org. Um, I'm going to provide the link for this web page in the materials. And if you right click on the web page, this particular one talks about JSON. We're going to get into JSON later on. But if you right click here, you will see there's an inspect. So if I'll go and inspect the browser or being on this web page, I will see dev tools being opened. So this is all dev tools. Now, if I go here in the network tab, right on top, and I have fetch XHR selected, if I'll do page reload right now, so I'm going to just reload the page, I will see communication happening, right? So for example, one of the communications right here called who am I? So this is an API call. Uh, that is being sent by the client, so by the browser, to the server. Now this API call is being sent, uh, and then there's a response coming back that tells me, well, I'm not logged in, there's no username, so I'm just a guess, but uh, it did uh, read my location, United States, and it responded with my location. So maybe if I was in a different country, and if a web page supports different languages, let's say French, uh, and I was in France, uh, the, by default, this page would load in French language. That's just like one of the examples of how API interacts 
from the client to the server and then uh, provides meaningful responses and updates based on that communication. Okay, so um, let's get started and get into more details about REST API in the next video. Leave like, subscribe if you like the video. This was Alex USA Days. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.